up, Hard Squad? Today, I'm opening my final Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. In search of the Fab Five, the final five missing cards that I'm missing from the classical collection of what has been a very, very fun set. And for today's video, we will see if we can get one or all of those Fab Five cards. I also have a special tin, which I'll be opening up as well in this same video because y'all have really been enjoying those tin openings. So I got this coming up later on in the opening. We will get into this shortly, but I have a very special little thing I want to mention. This is... For you collectors out there, a PSA Gem Mint 10 1995 Top Sun Charmillionaire Green Back Card. One of the OG Pokemon cards from Japan, like the OG. Didn't come out in 1995, I believe that was just the copyright date, but this card, and you already saw it, a 2001 Neo Destiny Light Flareon. It's a Japanese one, but it's also a PSA 10 card. So both of these are in perfecto condition. They are going to y'all. Part of my uh, current fundraiser and charity going on for the National Alliance on Mental Illness, Mr. Fuji, who was just here on the channel this past week. You can go check out that awesome video where he showcased very, very rare. The absolute rarest cards in the world for Pokemon. Uh, he was very generous enough to also uh, give these to me to give to y'all, to those who donate. So if you would like to go donate, the URL will be on screen as well as at the top of the description of this video uh, for a chance to get one or the other of these two cards. And obviously, at the time of this video, we have already raised over $15,000 and the thing hasn't even officially started, which starts in November 1st. And the amount of creators that are part of it so far uh, are gonna blow your mind because we got big ones, small ones, and I'm still not done picking. Shall we get into what is literally my last Celebrations product I have on hand? All of my openings that I've done for Celebrations have been on this channel, you've seen it. Uh, I frankly didn't have a lot of product on hand. I have not gone to the stores or anything. This is all the product that I originally got at the beginning of this. Uh, it went through pretty fast because it has been a lot of fun opening this up. But like I said, I want to get a 100% complete set of celebrations. So while they could be on screen, I just want to quickly showcase the the final cards, because a lot of them are on this page that I need. The Mewtwo EX and the Tapu Lele GX are surprisingly some of the rarest cards to pull. I pulled all of the others. And then of course, the number one card, the Umbreon Gold Star. But the actual number one card is Don Fan Pro No, I'm kidding. Uh, for some reason, Don Fan and Luxray are also incredibly rare cards to pull. But the number one one that I want is an Umbreon Gold Star. And that will complete the five cards that I'm missing. So this is an Elite Trainer Box. It does come with some other sets. Let me just, uh, I don't need the sleeves or anything, but it does come with the Greninja. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm just gonna give this to a random lucky viewer of this video. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know your favorite Gold Star of all time. It can be Greninja but there's plenty of others. We may even pull one, which I don't know if there's a pack in the tin, but you know, we'll find out. So there's that. Uh, you probably already have gotten this. So I'm gonna toss this all to the side and this should be all of the packs. Let me just make sure actually, cause sometimes there's uh, packs that are just kind of squished in there. Okay, we're good. Ooh, let's start with Vivid Voltage. I have not pulled. You know it by now. You know it by now. The Rainbow Chunkachu. Can we pull it in this one solo red cup pack? Leonard trademark patented guess the energy, psychic energy. Okay. Let's see. I also need myself the Leon and Hyper Rare, and of course the Pikachu V, the one with the pink and purple background. Great value, Squirtle, Riolu, and Snorlax Holographic. I'll take it. All right, let's get into a I have to really, really cherish these because I don't know the next time I'm gonna try to go get product. 
Uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't gone in the stores or anything. Um, people have been showing me videos and pictures that there has been lots of product in stores, thankfully for people, but there can never be enough. Uh, so hopefully there will be more. I probably won't go. I'll probably just try to get it online from somewhere for a good price. Hopefully Lunala and there. So there goes that entire pack. Let's get into Darkness Ablaze and see if we can get the Charizard for cards. Uh, Psychic Energy. Yeah, Pat's on back. I bet you didn't think I was going to say it again. Simapore strutting its stuff. Trap, Jiggly, Duck, Kara, Darumaka, and a Rhyperior V. First pull of the day. I don't really count the Greninja, okay? But uh, this has been a fun set. Of course, Fusion Strike comes out already in like less than a month or so. So... That's going to be a lot of fun. Dialga. Oh, a Dark Gyarados. Very nice. One of the classical collections has been pulled. So I'll put that over here. And Nose Ghost. Now, we did pull. What was it like a few videos ago? The uh, Shining Mew. The Gold Mew card. My favorite card from the set other than the Umbreon. Uh, very, very happy about that. Lightning Energy. However, I really want the Umbreon. And of course, in yesterday's video, if I post this on the correct day, Sunday, I will, or I did, excuse me, Excavalier. I did a special type of themed Squid Game video. Hopefully y'all went and checked it out. If not, it was a lot of fun doing that video. It was also opening up base set packs every time I broke the cookie. If you know the show, you know what I'm talking about. All right, bird is the word, Kyogre. Yvelto, it's what's for dinner. And a flying Pikachu. Very, very common card. One I'd like to pull again is a happy birthday Pikachu. I've been giving those out to people for the birthdays. <laughs> uh, I need to kind of stop doing that because I need to keep some for myself for future stuff that I would like to be doing. Uh, four cards. Ooh, these are different colored cards. See that? This one's darker than these. Anyway, uh, Leaf Energy. Hey, that's on back. All right, Hunter. Celio! I don't even know what set this is. This is Darkness Ablaze again. Yamask, Kubfu, Inke, and Zangoose. I don't want to run out of packs, Ma. We need to get something. We, we, we One of the five, okay? One of the five. Cosmoa, Lugia, Pikachu, base set, or whatever you want to call that one. The rest will be celebrations. But let's get into this battle styles. Still got some lovely cards in this set to pull, including the alternate art, Urshifu's uh, Fighting Energy. Let's see if we can get something. It is a very notorious set for being difficult to get of the good pulls variety. Zubat, Cubone, and hey, it's an Urf. Blah, 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 blah. It's a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Just the original Ultra Rare. Before we get into this tin, very cool tin with awesome packs on the inside. We got Celebrations packs to open. Our final chances for the immediate time being of uh, pulling one. It's an imposter oak. Now, this one took a while for me to get in the previous opening I did for celebrations and a soul galeo. But now we have another imposter professor oak. Let me make sure I put that in this pile. And then we have five. You go so fast through these packs. So I really want to cherish these. Cosmog, Kyogre, a Zekrom! So honestly, we have been doing very, very well with the pulls from this final box. A black and white Zekrom and a Lunala, and there's the code. So lots of classical collection cards have been pulled, uh, but we have not scratched off any of the fab five, the final five that I need to pull. Dialga, Yavalto, it's what's for dinner. Flying or surfing Pikachu, surfing in the USA Pikachu. Three, ah, ah, celebrations packs to go. Yavalto, Kyogre, I mean, Grodon, sorry, I was looking at the bottom. Lugia, and oh, it's a professor's research. I love this card. Look at those eyebrows and the coat. So this has been an absolute fantastic box. It's just maybe a while before we complete the set of celebrations, unless 
We get an air pack, Kyogre, Christmas tree, a Rocket Zapdos Classical Collection card. Jeez, and it's a Mew! No. Well then, oh, and there's that. Comes down to this. Let's put this on the screen because we're going to open that shortly. It's been fun. Hopefully, hopefully sooner than later, we can open up some more celebrations. And let's see if we can get a little last pack magic. Lugia, Bird, Kyogre, and a Flying Pikachu. So we did not get any of the final five. However, we did get some very nice pulls from the final box of celebrations that I got. Now, let's get into this fun thing. Yes, I've opened up the other tins. Not the, I don't think I've opened up the Charizard. I just showcased it. But the Garchomps, I've opened up all of those. Uh, this is big. This is big because let's see the condition of this Rayquaza level X. The seal's been broken. The seal's been broken. <laughs> the things I do. All right, you ready? That's some nice smelling of Rayquazas. All right. Now, usually, let's see if it's not... Oh, gosh! The centering! The centering is terrible, and there's some whitening on the side. Now, I do have sleeves because this card, which I haven't even shown the front, sorry. Rayquaza Level X. These promos are so difficult to get in good condition, a la case in point right now. This one's not in good condition. It's in... I mean, it's in good condition. It's not mint, obviously. Uh, but it's still nice to get a Rayquaza Level X. So I'll put that over here. You want to see the packs that come inside this bad boy? Well, we have a Platinum Supreme Victors. So we're going for Charizard in each of these two first packs. Then we have a Dabbing Caesar, Platinum Rising Rivals. Great set, lots of good cards. And then a Diamond and Pearl Legends Awakened. And then that is it, my friends, of that 10. So let's get into one of these Platinum Supreme Victors. I'll go with this pack art. I like it better than the other one. Wish us luck for Platinum Supreme Victors. I think it's just three cards for all of these sets. And what's fun about opening up these packs is lots of amazing sets that you probably just haven't opened in a good while. Uh, I think this is from 2009, so over 10 years ago. Roserade. Whoa, I cannot skip this Loudred. Okay. Beldum, Mime Jr., Surskit, Doduo, Pachirisu, a Solrock. It is a rare for the reverse. And Mawile, non-holographic rare. That's okay. Let's get into Diamond and Pearl Legends Awaken. And see what we can get. That's a very, very nice artwork. I really have to say. Now let's see if it can, because I complimented it, maybe it will give us some good pulls. Starting off with a Persian. Matang. Unknown. Is that P? R. Okay. It looks like an R. Gloom. Claw Fossil. Letty. Tentacool. It's a pretty cool looking coolio. Meowth, also a very cool looking Meowth. The reverse is a stadium card, a Stark Mountain, just an uncommon, but very cool to see something like this. And the rare is a Blossom. The hit 90 show, Blossom. Well, not holographic with that pack. Two packs remaining. Remaining. I'll save this for last. And uh, let's get into some Platinum Rising Rivals. Let's see what we can do. No codes, these are that old. They don't have codes in these. Three cards. Did I do? Okay, for a sec, I was like on autopilot with the uh, card trick. Oh, he's, he's not dabbing in this one. Steelix. Looks pissed. Very, very cool Alakazam card. Nidorino. The artwork for the set has been fantastic so far. Flareon. Nice fro. It's Carrot Top. Nidoran Austin Powers. Houndoom. Just a common, though. Nice carrot top. Sveal. Sean Connery. Are we at the reverse already? Yeah, but it's a Jolteon reverse rare. Very nice. And Vaporeon. Interesting. So a Jolteon 
Vaporeon, and then wait, I think we... Sorry, Flareon, you're just the common. But they kind of look like they all go together. I'm sure there's a rare Flareon. Uh, but there we go, that's really cool still to see. Was it worth it to open up this tin so far? No, however, we have one more pack really, really quickly. Once again, if you donate to the charity, none of the money goes through me, to Nami. Uh, get either one of these and of course there's like the grand prize of a free ticket to my pop-up shop uh, every card that we pull in a series that we're gonna be doing with Nick uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff I think it's like minimum ten dollars to donate and it goes to obviously a great cause and a great organization all right ladies and gentlemen we're at the final pack platinum supreme victors we gotta get at least one hit even a holographic would be nice Card trick has been done. And we have a Breloom, Rotom, Plusle, Golding. Looks indifferent. Not pissed. Meowth stealing Stornalax's apple. Magnemite. Totwig. Shadot. Mankey is the reverse. And the rare is a mold trash but a non-holographic one but still an absolute beauty of a card so i hope you enjoyed this opening you want more openings click on those videos right now my name is leonard stay awesome stay positive and as always i'll see y'all in the next video